Yo, 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 hey guys, what's poppin'? Jacques Slade here, back with another unboxing. The drum solo is getting better. I think it's, it's, really, it's really getting better. Uh, as you guys can tell, I'm not here alone today. I have some very, very special guests, and they're here from Parts Unknown. Parts Unknown? That's, no, they're known parts where they're from. Anyway, uh, talk to them. Tell them who you are, tell them where you're from, and then let's get into this unboxing. So, I'm Elias. Um, I'm, oh. I'm Dex. I'm hey. <laughs> We're basically half of PAQ. Um, there's two other boys, also Shaq and Danny, that are not here right now, but they will be here later because we're going to be working with yes. you on a little special something. That's true, that's true. We're from a channel called um, Kyra TV PAQ. We do fashion related videos and challenges. And then the challenge that you're going to be judging is all about basketball sneakers. Right. So you can check that out on our channel as well. So yeah, I, I, are you ready to judge our stuff later then? I am, I am, I am. I feel like, yeah. I, I feel like I don't have an accent, so I feel a little weird talking to you. <laughs> I feel like I'm out of place here. Uh, I got no. you, man. That's I right, 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 right. Yeah. That's so, right, man. Uh, yeah, you do that, yeah. and I'll be like, yo, we're gonna unbox you, man. I'll be like, yeah, mate, we're gonna open this. <laughs> 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 I don't know how, I don't know how good or bad that is. Uh, anyway, so let's see. You guys have a special delivery. Uh, came from yes, yes? Great Britain. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Uh, so as you can tell, I obviously don't know what's in here. Um, is this is it is the uh, is the shipping rough there? Is that why there's black tape? Is that I'm gonna say? I was, I do we have to? I'm still waiting for some of the deliveries, man. I don't know some of the postmen that are shady. Right. <laughs> What's going on? So, what are you? Are you got? Do you guys have like crazy sneaker collections as well? If you're into fashion, I feel like sneakers yeah. is obviously a big part of that as well. Yeah, no. definitely. I have a, lo I have loads of sneakers, loads of shoes. Uh, even to the point where they've actually like kind of entered, which is a weird space, my kitchen. Oh. There's literally like boxes stacked up. Um, yeah, shoes, beautiful. I mean. Get Drake, yeah, get changed into an outfit, go downstairs, just trying about loads of different shoes, see which one works with the yep. fit. Love, loves. So love that's people. a universal thing. It's like trying to find out which sneakers yeah, to wear. You yep. get an outfit and then <laughs> yeah. like the sneakers, it's like, oh, yep. should I wear it? No, yeah, don't want to wear right. these. Then you decide, oh, I do want to wear these. And you're like, oh, but I have to change my outfit. Yeah, they got to yeah. When I put you one know, shoe on, it's true. I put one foot, uh, one shoe on one foot, a different shoe on the other foot. And I'm like, okay, which one's better? Yeah. Yeah. I did the same yeah. thing. It's kind of stressful. Do <laughs> you know what's hard is when me, I have a pretty, I have a pretty good trainer selection, but my problem is, I will start sometimes from the trainers up, and then when I look at the rest of the outfit, I'm like, no, yeah, I don't even know if I want to wear these kicks all this time, and I'm just like, and then I get changed with another pair of trainers, then I get paid to another pair of trainers, and then it's like I go out, I see a pair of trainers, I'm like, damn, they would have looked sick with this, and it just, yeah, it kind of. Yeah. Okay, so now that you said it, I wasn't gonna say it, but you said it, so you said trainers. Yeah. yeah. In the U.S., it's sneakers. I want to know is that is that the same thing? Are you talking about a specific shoe when you say trainers, or is it anything? It's anything. anything. Oh, anything. anything. So anything could be trainers, like a basketball shoe, yeah. golf yeah. shoe. Trainers, just it's a general. Um, it's a, trainers is like a general term. So I guess the same way. Do you guys say sneakers for like just as a general term? Yeah, sneakers or kicks, just yeah. in general. We term. say we say we either say kicks or crepes. Yeah, crepes. You say yeah. crepes a lot. Oh, yeah. I've never heard pancakes, that. Pancakes, it's crepes. Like, yeah, it's not crepes. pancakes. Crepes, crepes, crepes. No. But usually yeah. when I say crepes, some people are like, "What the hell is this guy talking about? Is he trying to no. make some pancakes?" I don't want no. no That's what I would assume. I would assume food. Yeah, but no. crepes are crepes are trainers. Yeah. Yeah, that makes okay. a lot of sense. Yeah. Some people say sneakers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. sneakers is a thing, man. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I, w I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel totally out of place. They wouldn't be like, ah, he's from America. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. So let's take a look here. We have looks like some Nikes. Oh. Yeah, man. And look at that. <laughs> I don't know if you guys see that, but it has a little Supreme tag right there. So is Supreme. Supreme. <laughs> Supreme. I love that. Supreme. Supreme. <laughs> so is Supreme as big there as it is here? Yeah, yeah. massive, massive yeah. Supreme and like uh, skate sneaker culture out in the UK as well. Yeah. Supreme is yeah heavily, yeah, yeah it's heavy in the UK. Is it is it recent or has that been like for a while or is it's it kind of? It's been for a while. It's been for a while. What I will say though is definitely like since I've been in LA, I've seen that with all right with London. You have to either be a cool kid or you have to have money to always constantly be at Supreme. But around like in LA, it's just so accessible. Like mm -hmm. from certain places I've gone, like streetwear stores, yeah. there's so much Supreme. So it's like, I feel like over here, like obviously it's going to have a bigger audience, but mm -hmm. 
compared like compared to London, for the amount of people that live in London, how small it is, it's actually kind of crazy over there. Yeah. Like it's actually kind of crazy over there. People travel a long way. Yeah, to get man. To London to go to the Supreme. Just to go yeah. to the yeah. Supreme yeah. store. That's crazy. And so if I'm... they flop there, they go to France now. <laughs> Paris. Yeah. yeah they go oh, to Paris. Wow. <laughs> Are the lines long? Like always long? Because like here, every Thursday. There's a line down the block at some yeah, exactly the same. It's exactly the same. the same. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So let's take a look in here. So this is, as you guys see the paper here, it has the, the Nike and the Supreme here. And this is the Black Air Force One High with the NBA. So most of you guys already know this, but Nike joined up with the NBA this year. They officially kicked off this season. They started with the jerseys and they've been doing a bunch of different things with the NBA and allowing the different brands that they work with to collaborate with the NBA as well. I think it's worked out really well. Obviously they had like the connected NBA jersey and all those sorts of things, but the footwear hasn't really had a chance to really take off. They have some stuff on Nike ID, but this is an example of something that they're able to do now because they have that NBA deal. This is not something that they would have before. Yeah. And yeah. truth to be told, truth be told, if we're gonna be honest here, can we be honest yeah. and talk? Yeah. Uh, this is what the bootleggers did to shoes years ago. Yes. When you, yes. When you, yes, when you used to go to like the swap meet, we call them swap meets here, where yeah. you go and just like kind of buy shoes. Yeah. It's like a bunch of like, uh, almost like a flea market, yeah. we call them swap meets here. This is what you would find there, and it would be fake versions of Air Force Ones or whatever basketball shoes, mm -hmm. and they'd have all these like NBA logos over them. They had clothes like this and all this yeah. stuff, so it's interesting to see. See, they're yeah. actually taking it and made it a thing. Yeah, making it a thing and making it official, and like, it, the interesting thing to me is like you see those hardcore sneakerheads back then that yeah. would be like, oh, I would never wear this. I would, <laughs> no. This, no, this is terrible. This is just officially wear. released. Yeah, and now what, it's official that we're rocking it. It's funny because um, Supreme, they have, um, what was it called? They have something, again, basically the police were meant to take like a whole load of these jackets they made because they, the yeah, they got, was it the cease and assist? Yeah, yeah, the yeah they had, they basically, Supreme back in the day, they made, um, uh, NCAA jacket and it was cease and desist because they weren't really allowed to actually put it out. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. so yeah. to be and like, um, there's a few out there, but they're meant to actually be in the police custody. So it's so funny it's like after those kind of situations, and even when it comes to like people like getting onto the bootlegs, mm -hmm. that they've actually gone and done this. I think, yeah, I mean, even as uh, not even just shoes, but fashion as well, bootleg is like coming massively like even this this is a yeah. bootleg gucci gucci tracksuit it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah. bootleg sometimes is better <laughs> yeah true. I, ap I appreciate that there are there are definitely some things that are better uh, i remember a lot of people could get bootleg mistaken for custom and custom mistaken for bootleg that mm -hmm. is one way to that's look at it. Way, that's yeah. very true. Uh, shout out to the Lakers. Uh, quick plug to the Los Angeles Lakers, my home squad, <laughs> there, right there. Uh, is the NBA big, big in the UK? Not, not really. I mean, nothing compared to out here. Out yeah. here is crazy. Yeah. In the UK, it's kind of like as well, as well as like Jordans and basketball shoes. There isn't as much kind of crazy hype around it. I think mm. the UK's version of Jordans or like basketball shoes are Air Maxes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, or yeah. TNs, things like that. I mean, with with Jordans, I mean, there's 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 some serious Jordan heads in London, but mm. you you have to kind of know them or you know oh, like, yeah, okay, yeah. like they, a lot of stores do sell them now, so you know it is it is accessible. But at the same time, compared to here, it's nothing. Especially if you're into watching the NBA, I mean, you have to go online or you have to like get a special channel and stuff like that. Oh. It's not like mm. you just flick on the TV to watch NBA. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What would you, now that you got you guys have been here about two weeks now yeah. here in LA? What would you say is the biggest difference you see between like the sneakerheads in the UK and the sneakerheads here? Clean kicks. I can say that here, they're clean here or they're yeah. clean there? Clean here. Because um, a lot of sneakerheads that I know, they keep their kicks clean, but at the same time, a lot of them will have like certain gems that they would just bang out or like, I don't know, they kind of, some of them just like that trashy look on their trainers. Mm -hmm. I noticed even with me, like some of my Jordans, I like the trashy look, but since I was walking on the street, some people just looking like, <laughs> How are you gonna do that to your J's, man? Oh, so, I've, yeah. I've definitely seen yeah, shoes out here that I have not seen in the UK. That's like, facts as well. I'm, I'm not. Really? I think especially like it's the basketball shoes. I'm like, what, yeah. what are these? I've never seen these before. Yeah. yeah. Really? So yeah, yeah. Def definitely yeah. a big, big difference in that. Also, I mean, 
and like option wise, out here there's so much options. So many more options. Yeah. So much more. Like I, the first day, we all went. We all went to uh, Round Two Hollywood, which is like mm-hmm. a resale kind of like store. Bought loads of stuff. Every single time I, I go out to the shops here, I end up coming away with something. Coming away with something. In, in London, I'm like, oh, it's not really anything here. Uh, <laughs> here I'm like, oh, my, someone needs to take my card. <laughs> right, right, take my card. Um, do, you, do you guys have a lot of resale shops there? No, no. No. no resale is either more online or through who you would know, you yeah. know what I'm saying, or just Instagram. Like, um, with reselling over here, I think it's great that they have actual stores like that. So, yeah. So that's just round two, man. Got a shout out, Sean. Yeah, I mean, like Melrose, well. I can't believe yeah. the amount of resale stores. We literally just are staying off the, off the corner of Melrose. And I'm like, wow, this is like another, another dimension. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. Last little thing about these, obviously they have all the logos in here, but obviously you can't forget you have the Supreme Box logo there on the heel, on yep. the toe there, and they also have it on the tongue for a last little touch. Uh, well, thank you guys for coming to join me. Uh, tell them again about your channel, what you do, how they can find you. Um, and who's the coolest of the four? Oh, um, all right. Well, 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 <laughs> I'll get into that. Um, what I'll say is, um, we are PAQ. No, so well, half, half of PAQ. Well, we are half. Yeah, we are two or four of PAQ. Um, and if you want to see us, you know, go on YouTube, type in PAQ or type in Kyra, it should come up. Or you can see the link in the description. Same way, mm-hmm. um, link in the description. Both channels, you know, it's like a little swap swap. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Our Instagram is PAQ um, dot official. Yeah. And yeah, if you guys come over to our channel, you can see this this G right here judging our basketball episode where we actually had to do a product test for basketball kicks. We had to do a stylability yeah. test and a practi- like practi- uh, practicality test. <laughs> we actually had to play play in the shoes and oh, nice. we're, we're not basketball players. Well, Dex is the best out no, of all of us. See, they put pressure on me, innit? I'm all right, innit? I mean, can you know, you dunk? No. I no. Like, bro, I'm shorter than you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as always, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for PAQ. Thank you to PAQ for joining me for this video. Uh, again, their stuff is down in the description if you want to check them out. Loads of fun on their channel. They do some crazy, crazy challenges that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. That being said, I'm Jacques Slade, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Peace.